What's up? I'm Jeremy. I'm the guitar player of Wasted Space. Um, and not gonna lie, uh, this year's been pretty tough. It's been tough on all of us. Um, fuck. <laughs> I like lost where I was going with it. I was like trying to trying to bring out the inner. Uh, what's her name? Sarah McLaughlin, the chick yeah. from the the arms of an angel. So something that's a lot different about this EP from the rest of them is that we took a much more progressive uh, push and direction, um, not only musically, but just, I guess, growth as artists and um, trying to develop more of our own sound and not being so uh, pigeonholed in one type of genre. And, um, you know, I think a big push of it was me and Colin were a little more uh, we're a little we're a little bored with what we were playing, and we just wanted to push the boundaries a little bit more. So we kind of developed a new sound for this uh, this EP that was a little different than what we were doing. Maybe a little less heavy and a little more melodic. And uh, you know, I personally, for the guitar, uh, definitely um, went in a more melodic, less groovy, less. Uh, hardcore slash new metal sound and more of a uh, technical progressive sound. Did you see that? Playing. But. There you go, Matty Matt. <laughs> I just, just straight up. Oh, there you awesome. go. <laughs> I did the same thing earlier, thinking my pick was in my mouth nonetheless, which it wasn't. Like, I was like, what the fuck? I just, he looked, I looked at like Matt eyes as soon as I did, and I was like, fuck, you saw that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. What are you thinking? Moving on? Yeah, let's do it. Nice. Great job, though, buddy. So the woman who called me had a slight speech impediment, didn't sound very smart, and I was like, I wanted to call back and be like, what's your job? And if she was like, GM, I'd be like, word, that's what I'm applying for. <laughs> Oh she goes, God. you're hired. You got you got balls, kid. We like that at TGI Fridays. Dude, yo, TGI Fridays, man. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call him back and be like, only stipulation. I can't work Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> I can't work Fridays. I apologize. Sorry, uh, no that's kind of a big a big day for me. Uh, I felt bored with what we were doing, and I felt I felt like I was I was ripping off a lot of metal artists and kind of playing what I thought metal should sound like, and it wasn't totally organic or true to how I actually play. So, um, with this new EP, uh, you're hearing a much more organic and natural sound coming from how I actually play music. There were a lot of emotions going into this EP, um, and if you know Colin Matteri or if you've ever worked with us or just been around us, we, very, we feel very strongly about everything we believe in, and all three of us in the room together discussing a direction change can lead to um, some pretty emotional debates. and. Um, I think the biggest stress was just, you know, uh, trying to break from what we were traditionally doing and just and writing something new and trying to break the mold we had kind of formed for ourselves. And in, in writing the first song on the EP, um, I wrote it a friend, about a friend of mine who passed away and then Matt contributed his lyrics, which were as well about um, a friend passing away. So not only was it like an emotional struggle to just come up with this um, this new direction and, and, and just mentally exhausting to kind of come to an agreement with each other, um, you know, we, we put a lot more of our, our, our heart and what feels right to us. Dude, I am putting these chips on the sand though. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Dude, Dude if you don't put chips on your sandos, you're you're on American. <laughs> I doubt, you know what, that actually feels like something that's exclusively an American thing. Like, yo, let's put potato chips on our sandwich. Yeah. Everybody else internationally is like, what are you doing? Bro, there? that's not an American, that's like a Jared thing. I don't fucking put chips on my sandwich. Bro, you've never gone to Subway, gotten the Fritos barbecue twist and put them on your sub? No. You're insane. You're, uh, you're missing out on everything that's good about life. You're heathen, and this is what they spoke about in the Bible. <laughs> yeah, we decided to uh, come to GCR and work with Jay. We, Colin and I had worked with Jay with a previous band uh, called Squatch, and 
we really enjoyed the experience and um, where were we were recording before, we, we absolutely enjoyed, but with this new direction of music, we just felt like this was a better home for what we were trying to do. And um, Jay Zubricki at GCR is, you know, um, we've, we've worked with him once before and, you know, he's always been open and honest with us and kind of helped produce uh, the tracks with us and give input and always been supportive and um, you know so GCR felt like the right move and I know Colin wanted to get his drum set into a big room and for me it was a lot about uh, just finding every route we could take with guitar uh, tone and sounds and finding the best one that we felt fit with the, the overall theme of the EP and um, you know we really wanted to go all out with this so again keep your eyes out or open ears peeled whatever and, uh, yeah, check out the EP.